all stereotypes boil down to an evaluation of a group on two dimensions, warmth and competence. Now, when I started my career many years ago, many decades ago, uh, men were described as logical, analytical and decisive. Women were regularly described as emotional, hormonal and couldn't do numbers. So both groups are being described in terms of competence, men having it, women lacking it, which explains why there were so few women in managerial and leadership roles. That's changed. There was a big backlash to those kind of negative stereotypes. And so now we use very positive words, but they're still the same words. They're still warm, caring. They're just done in a positive stance. And that's actually led to these stereotypes being accepted more readily than what they were in the past. And so today you have what's known as, a, as positive stereotypes. We look at the strengths that both groups bring. Strengths of men have remained the same, logic, uh, analytical, decisive. Women are described as compassionate, caring and empathetic. And I think people take a lot of comfort in that because you can feel like actually if you bring this to the party and we bring this to the party, we're, what a great team we're going to be, what a great organisation we're going to be. We are going into this final pitch with a very strong hand. We've got Matt with his razor sharp analytical skills. We've got Graham's phenomenal technical knowledge. And Sophie, you are amazing with people. You've really got that interpersonal nows. I mean, I think it's a winning combination. I really do. Let's go for it. Now, the problem with these positive stereotypes is that men and women like them. Women are more likely to accept them because suddenly they're being described in positive terms and that can feel nice. When, you know, you spent decades where women have been described quite negatively in the workplace and all of a sudden these positive words are being used to describe them, what they bring. It can actually feel quite good. And actually because typically women um, have been in these home caring roles, then they kind of associate themselves of, as being these things too. So, you know, I bring up the children, so I'm bound to be more caring and sensitive than my husband or the male in the house. So I think lots of women have bought into this. Um, unfortunately, they still lead to the same negative outcomes because we do not value these stereotypes we associate with, with women in the workplace.